We are going to discuss here the tallest timber building that is going to be built in Switzerland, okay? So let's take a look on the news before. So we can see here the, the idea of the building. We can see this is a, an amazing possibility of project. I have countered the floor, so 33 uh, tall uh, floor building. And we can see here the, the, the images of the project. We can see there is capture, capturing lots of natural light. So this is a very cool concept. And we can see that this building doesn't have this crazy ideas of trees everywhere because trees usually makes us think that we are talking about a stable building, but usually it's not because trees are not made for, to live in upper floors. If you see the example of Bosco Verticali, we know that we can take a look on this video that we made here in our channel. But the idea is that when we are creating, for example, a concrete a balcony to have vegetation up there, it's going to take in our accountability uh, 50 years to recover this vegetation will take 50 years to recover this balcony uh, concrete right so when we are creating buildings in timber it's going to make, to be much better and even Boeri's office they are creating timber buildings where they are going to have vegetations on that but the idea here is that we don't have uh, much many vegetations tall buildings and I think this is a, an amazing concept a very clear concept so I love the, this idea of this building here. So we can take a look on the news here and we can see that it's created by this Danish firm, uh, Schmidt Hammer Lesson Architects. It's not just a wooden uh, building. We can see that we have other uh, red roofs and yellow bricks. So it's an amazing possibility here uh, on this project. So we can take a look on this. On this picture here, we have 33 floors, as I said before, and we can take a look here. Here is, is a very cool concept, and then we can see um, the structure, right? The overall structure that is really timber. They want to create a uh, timber building. And I think this is a, a, a fantastic concept because when we think about carbon footprint, concrete is responsible for 8% of the world's total carbon footprint just concrete so if we can remove concrete from this beauty industry we're going to have amazing possibilities to reduce carbon footprint worldwide okay and how we could calculate this in a project okay so i will share here a website that maybe you can use to understand this concepts related to embodied carbon and operational carbon Th this is our two different things embodied carbon is the carbon related to the construction so when we are creating a timber building we are going to reduce this embodied carbon but the operational carbon is going to be related to energy efficiency and the operational right uh, so the operation the operational carbon is going to increase during time okay so we have this website here called epic so we're the phase integrated carbon assessment and taking a look here at the website let's create a test here for this project so let's uh, just uh, put things very quickly here and let's say the primary structural system is going to be a reinforced that can create the primary use is going to be an office and let's say we're going to have 33 floors as we we saw in this in this building here and let's say uh two uh below ground floors the square footage is, is going to be uh 3000 square feet let's say something like it the floor area uh below ground, ground floor is going to be 500 and site area 600 let's take uh let's uh save something like this okay okay so now we can see that we have here uh embodied carbon right and the operational carbon on this building here okay so we have created the base case here and now let's take a look on carbon reduction measures that we can use to enhance that so we can see here the the embodied carbon in in red here and in, in this purple, the operational, right? So we have more problem here related to the operational in this uh, quick idea here. And let's take a look, just changing here the reinforced concrete to timber, okay? So let's get mass timber. Let's change this. And let's take a look on the possibilities. So we have now this white 
uh, columns and this is our reduction so we already created some reductions here let's say we're going to have a low carbon uh, possibilities here and responsibly sourced timber and let's see uh, the changes that we got here okay so we got now this yellow part that, that we are talking about sequestration so we are getting the sequestration of carbon as well so this is our possibilities on remove this carbon related to the construction okay so we could change lots of other things here related to this building optimize much more but i just wanted to give you an idea of the future of architecture or on what architecture should be and timber is the future in my opinion timber is the future and we need to have more technology we need to ask for suppliers to develop this technology more we need to show uh, builders its possibilities of timber and these are amazing possibilities to decrease carbon footprint and make the world better okay please tell me what you thought about this video here comment here below tell me your ideas for new videos because i would love to be responsive to what you are thinking about sustainability and things that you think that is important for us to address here okay thank you very much we see you in the next video and comment below thank you very much